All right, guys, welcome back. Johnny here. Today we're gonna work on Misty, and we are gonna put some of these badass chrome covers on her and give her a little bit of dress up. As you see, what we have here is we've got the old school. Uh, like I was told that this came out of an E350, um, supposedly motorhome, but I think what they meant was one of those E350 conversion vans. So look here, you've got these super boring, just kind of fugly. Um, valve covers. So we are going to replace those with the Edelbrock ones so that we can match our beautiful little valve cover or our air filter right here. It says Edelbrock and then um, it'll look a little bit more fancy. Uh, we're just going to do that for today because that involves replacing the gaskets, things like that, and then we'll do another video um, of replacing these other little parts. I'll show you what we're going to do next. This little solenoid here we're going to be replacing next, right here. And then this solenoid right here we're going to replace as well. That'll be the next video. So, but as you can, guys can see, there's kind of a lot of stuff in the way. They, they welded in this support bar, I'm assuming, not just for performance, but more for stiffening up the nose of this car. Because when you put these big motors in these cars, what, you, what the bodies can do is they can actually twist around. And uh, you can completely ruin the frame of a drag car and then it'll, it'll just drive to the right or the left forever. It'll be garbage after that. So you always want to add a lot of support. One other thing you can do to add a lot of support to your car is put in a roll cage inside that stiffens the body as well. Uh, it helps with suspension, overall handling, but mostly, like I said, does, uh, doesn't allow body twist to happen as bad on these light little sports cars that we're swapping these V8s into. I think these are going to look pretty magnificent on Misty here and that'll kind of polish that off until we can later on do some work on the plenum there. This here is the plenum for you guys who don't know. This whole intake plenum, right? Here's the carburetor here. So, all right. Well, we're gonna fast forward now and get these puppies on. Johnny's holding these up for comparison. This was the old valve cover that we had on. This is the new one. I'm a little bit worried about this fuel line. As you see, this one's a little bit not as thick as this one. And over here, we've got this fuel line. I think it's a fuel line. Yeah, it's pretty good. I gotta be a fuel line. This line here going straight into the carburetor there, as you can see. So we'll see how much clearance we'll have. If we have to go get another line, we will. But Here's the inside, you can see, you know, just a matter of mostly beauty. I guess this baffle, I think that's a baffle there, it's a little bit better than this one. <laughs> but, all right you guys, so we're gonna put these on now and uh, we'll go from there. I'll show you any issues if we have any issues. All right, this, boom, Velpro filter for the valve cover. We need to get a new one of these. It's a fuel line. We'll work on that. All right, so check this out. We got the valve covers off, and I just wanted to zoom in on here. These uh, these springs, they are, um, if you take a look here, they're painted. I'm not sure if that's stock. Maybe some of you guys can tell me. I'm curious if these are upgraded springs or not. And then 
How do these look all together? What do you guys think? Um, I'm not, you know, we're new to the V8 world, so we're not sure, but I know that there's something to have to do with the valves, whether or not they're aligned or not, or if they're adjusted good. They do, they do that, but I think, I think that's pretty normal. This one's tight, this one's tight, but I think that's because it's on that other stroke between these two here. Um, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments below, but see, I can, I can move this, but I can't move this because this is probably on the exhaust or intake stroke. This one's not. These I can move, and then this one I can move, but this one's tight. So these two pis uh, pistons or cylinders here are probably the ones that are um, in the cycle, whatever cycle, and then these guys, like I said, are tight. But anyways, all right, well, we got this, this surface here. You always want to clean up this surface right here. Johnny just went through and cleaned all this up because we're going to have a new, see, that can be replaced. Sorry, thinking of all the different cool stuff we can replace. Anyways, so this here is, has to be a nice flat surface and clean because it's going to be on there for a long time, okay? Um, so yeah, all right, well, now we're going to put the valve covers on and uh, go from there. Oh, look at that, you can see 302 stamped right there. These are 302 heads. It's upside down, there you go, 302. Nice, okay, Ford 5.0, baby. Everything else looks pretty good. There's not much oil in the heads here. Maybe a, after we took that off, so that was nice. So, all right, let's do it. All right, so, see here we got the gasket kind of lined up, we got it on the valve cover, and then we're gonna put this bad boy on the car. Like, like it is. It'll rock, baby. All right. When installing these, you guys will see that that says cover side. Make sure that that faces the valve cover. We got the valve covers on, as you can see. They look beautiful, just like we had hoped. Nice and chrome and shiny. We ran into a few problems. Um, one is we don't have the oil fill um, cap for this, the right size. The other one didn't, from the other one, we were hoping it would just transfer over, but it won't work. Um, so we've gotta get one of those. That's number one. Um, actually, I'll show you what we got. We got three things, okay, that's number one. This is number two. This here is a, our fuel line, and if you look real close, I mean, it's pretty janky, so. Um, I don't even know if it's a, let's see, Swan Hydro, Hydro Air 250, okay, this is an air hose, so we definitely need to get this replaced. We're, um, this is number two, we're gonna go into town and get one of these, get one of those, hopefully. I'm gonna bring this with us for size comparison. Um, and then the other thing we ran into an issue with was if uh, take a look here, these bolts that we have, they are too tall. The old valve cover was a lot thicker, and unfortunately we, um, we have uh, bolts that are too long, so we've got to go to the uh, store and get some of those as well, okay? All right, so I'll be right back. All right, you guys, we just got back from the store. We got some pretty good goodies. Do you remember the fuel line that was in the way right here? Well, guess what we got? We got a new hose. Fuel, actually, it's a fuel line, so that'll be good instead of a instead of a ho, an air hose. And then we found some goodies. Check this out. So we we have a um, the impact gun now. So these we can kind of use for the impact gun. 
and uh, use these to our advantage. I also didn't show you guys that we got a torque wrench, finally. We got an oil filler cap, and then we've got all the little nuts. See that? That we needed for this job. All right, well let's put this sucker back together. All right, real quick. We got this guy undone, this little oil cap. It's just got a little rubber back end here. This is the moment of truth, cross your fingers. Hopefully it fits in this little hole. And it does, but that's a bitch to get off. So, well, it'll be good for now. All right, now let's get these guys taken care of. Okay, we got these uh, valve covers on, nice and tight. We went around evenly, kind of like how you put on a tire, and then it got a little bit tighter and you know looser and looser, and then we got kept going tighter and tighter. Um, had to move this guy out of the way. Um, Got to move this guy back to where it was because it was in my way. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna hook up this fuel line, see how this goes, and then we're probably gonna be calling it a wrap for tonight. I tell you what I'm most excited for though, I'm so dang excited to get this stinking radiator put in here. Um, once we get all this trivial stuff done, that's what our next project is going to be, getting the radiator in. And then of course I could keep talking about uh, battery relocation, but we've got so much wire in here. This cable here is a gra the power lead and it runs all the way around the body of the car, so I'm thinking I'm going to need to get a fuse block um, a little bit sooner than later so we can hook that up and then... Um, see how we go where we go from there all right well let's do that We got this on, we got our hose on. Let me double check the hose real fast. This has got to be really tight. Okay, she's on, she's together. Let's see about this coil pack real fast. So here's our finished product. There, finished product here. Edelbrock carburetor, um, right there. Air uh, Edelbrock carburetor. Edelbrock air filter. Uh -huh. Edelbrock valve covers. Got this cool oil fill cap. We'll probably oil it up, and it'll probably be a little bit easier to take off and put on. Um, if you see here, I'm going around Johnny Boy here. We relocated our coil pack to. Well, it didn't relocate it, but we did it at a different angle, as you can see. I like the outcome of that. Tell me if there's anything wrong with it. Here's the other side to give you a good look at the Edelbrock carburetor. Oh, yeah, boy. That's awesome. All right, I know it doesn't add any horsepower, but it makes it look pretty, don't it? Here's your look. Nice. Okay. Getting closer and closer. I'm digging it. And then next video. We're gonna dive into this mess right here. We're gonna see what kind of cables we got. We've got a lot of crap going on with different lines that we need to start diagnosing and figuring out where these go. A lot of them go over there, the ignition, but it's kind of a little bit of a rat's nest here. But good thing we've got a bunch of wires. You see this here? So we picked up a bunch of wires and such so that we can replace them. And then as you see here, this is the part here, and replace this, and then the other pieces right here, as you can see, right there. Okay, you guys, so this comes to the part of the episode where I say thank you for watching. Um, go to GeForceMonkeys.com, uh, subscribe in the corner down here, and uh, if you sh send proof to GeForceMonkeys at gmail.com with your shipping address, we'll send you a free decal. 
and then do me a favor, go ahead and share stuff, and then join our Facebook group and our Go Like Our Facebook page. Um, other than that, love you guys, and we'll see you at the next episode. Peace out.